Hi friends, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I'm going to make, while I have some superpowers of my own, um, an oil that's just for anointing things. It is toxic, it is poisonous, okay? If you use this oil, wear gloves, because what's in it is not for application to the skin, okay? Um, it is based upon the old school witch's flying oil, which uses mandrake root, which is an ingredient, ingredient I have, and it's highly toxic and poisonous. And it also has a taxidermy feather inside, which can be carry disease, and is, you know, I've put it in the freezer, but this is from my white peacock. There's a dried poisonous mushroom in here. There's going to be a, a bee, an oyster shell, some burned bits of things, dragon's blood, dried blood oranges, blood, and wax. So basically the things that are in here are for the purpose of getting in touch with being in your highest psychic ability you can be. For instance, when witches used to uh, fly on brooms, or when they were spotted flying on their brooms, they were using this uh, astral projection or flying oil that was completely poisonous, but they were putting it all over their bodies. And then they were dying at young, young ages. And perhaps they were actually getting to the point where they could actually levitate and fly. I believe that they did, um, but that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is use this oil to get as close as I can to that state of mind or state of magic without applying it to my skin and with it just burning on a candle in front of me, okay? <clears throat> on the outside of the bottle, I painted some symbols with my DNA on all the sides. I did a star of creation on one side, uh, a heart, a heart, and then my personal symbol on this side. Um, I spent a lot of time with this bottle blessing it. It is a bottle that had tequila in it, so I feel like it's already got uh, that, you know, hallucinatory state of mind or state of mind that's altered or uh, amplified by spirit, okay? Mm. So, I think that I should wear gloves for the video to be a good example. So I shall, even though I just did my nails. <laughs> How about I wear a glove? <laughs> that might be the best you'll get out of the taxidermy witch. So I was going to make you guys loads of videos Friday night, which was last night, and then I fell asleep. I got a little massage from my husband, and then I fell asleep. So, what do I do? I wake up at 2.45 in the morning, so I'm up for 3.33 like I always am, and I just decide not to go back to bed. Another really cool thing you can have doing while you're making this, okay, is use the safe astral astral projection oil that we made together that's safe for skin application, okay? You can apply this to your third eye. It doesn't have any mandrake root in it. It doesn't have anything poisonous in it. So I put it on my third eye and then I put it on my pulse points and then below my nose on my skin. And that will just get me on that level. I also made an astral projection tea. I could be drinking that. And those are both in the same video under astral oil. And I will be making playlists of my videos very soon, you guys. Okay, so while I have the gloves on, <clears throat> you could use any feather, but I feel like the feather gives it that flying element. You know, and I like to use taxidermy in my, in my spells and in my oils, for sure. What's that mandrake root? 
really, really hold tension in here, you guys. This is a special oil. It's the first time I've made it. Um, and it's the first time I've made an oil that... Ah! It's not, so, you know, like an oil that is absolutely only for anointing that you can't use on your, on your skin. Anybody else need to be in here? Okay. This one's awesome. So cool, that one. Alright, perfect. And I just make sure, like, that aesthetically you don't crush your feather. That's kind of why I put it in there first. Okay, so... Thank you, William. That's William, my mandrake group. He's right here. And he gets to be fed tonight, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to put in a blood orange because there's blood in here. These two have been on my altar for a while. And, uh... I, they've just stayed there. I guess it was for something, and I just never took them away. Now, I'm going to be using what I call oh, sage matchsticks. They are when you break open your sage cleansing stick. Okay, sorry. When you break open, or when you get down to the very bottom of these sage smudge sticks, and it's just the small bit that you can't really, it's not safe because you can't hold it anymore, um, you break those open by cutting off the tie, and then I save all of them, and I use them in oils and spells and things, okay? Because it's great for protective and purification. So the little matchstick bits... I call those sage matchsticks. So in this, I'm putting three sage matchsticks. And they smell divine. Smells so good. Okay, and you always want to do something to put to protect yourself. Like, I'm doing something big in this because it's poisonous. It's it's something I haven't done before. It's something that you're trying to take yourself to a different level, a different plane, a different way of thinking, okay? So, um, I'm adding an oyster shell for protection. This is from my family gathering oyster shells, so I feel like this is my family helping me and keeping me safe here. I'm adding um, a matchstick. Oh no, this is very different. Sorry. We're making a death oil after this. <laughs> and that was a matchstick I burnt myself on, so that's for a death oil. Um, we're adding a bee that was that died in our greenhouse. And that's for the flying element. It's a yellow jacket. Help me fly, my friend. Spirit be with me. When I dropped him in there, he crushed the sage. That was amazing. His he doesn't weigh nothing. Okay. Now, also, besides candles like these that I'll be anointing this oil with, I will also be anointing poppets. So I am putting a piece of my poppet wax in there. I was going to put a whole poppet, but it would be smushed by the time it got in there. So instead... I'm just putting a little ball of the wax because that's enough to connect it to the poppet. Uh, does that make sense? Like, this oil will be connected to the poppets I make now because it'll have the same uh, paraffin wax in it. And so when I go to anoint poppets, it's kind of like the oil will already know what to do because it's like, oh, it's home. This is home, you know. So I'm just going to try and anoint some energy in there. Ask for that very exact thing, you know. And try not to make too much of a mess. I have to take my glove off now because I got paraffin all over it. Paraffin's messy. Anybody who tells you it's not is fibbing. 
Okay, so I made a little paraffin ball. Got that in there. And now I will be adding my moon DNA is what I'm going to call it. I'm adding my moon DNA. Okay, you guys. And I'm going to add um, 13 drops. And that is the same thing that we feed William with. That and milk. I will feed, be feeding him later. He's here, like I said. Okay, so the puppet, the this, the that. Everything's in there except for one last thing for protection. I want a piece of dragon's blood. Anytime I do meditation and I get kind of nervous, like if I feel like because honestly, it can be really a whole nother level. Like you can feel not anxious, but like not yourself exactly when you're on meditations that get really deep or on the astral plane. So you guys know that dragon's blood really makes me feel protected. I'm going to be putting a nice chunk in there to, from my, brother, my mother rock batch here to keep me protected. And this is really quite a, a nice sized chunk. See how big that is? And just the smell alone and knowing it's in there will make me feel so good. Okay. So, see how big these giant mother rock pieces are. So amazing. And sometimes, you guys have seen this, I carry this in my purse because... The smell always brings me back to center, back to home. And that's what you really want to have when you want to center yourself, especially if you're feeling like not of this earth, you know, because that's what a flying oil could do. But again, you're not applying this to your skin, so it's just going to be for the purposes of anointing a candle and or putting into a poppet putting into a poppet would represent me putting it on my skin, but I wouldn't actually be putting it on my skin. Um, so that's what we've got going on in the jar. And I'm just going to fill the oil up like halfway. I want the feather to be sticking out and some of the other bits. Plus that's a big jar. And this is my first time making this oil, so we don't know <clears throat> we don't know if this is the perfect recipe or not. I will be using I will be using sunflower oil. You could use whatever you want, but I would use a nice light oil that's also inexpensive because you're not using it on your skin. But olive oil is really thick and heavy, so I would use a sunflower or a grapeseed oil. Um, but an olive oil would just be really thick, so. I always think it's fun when you pour in, it looks really cool. for it. If anybody wants any oil, let me know. <laughs> That'll be good. Nice. These things are floating around. It looks so cool. But I definitely want to keep that feather stuck out of the top. Now remember, you can reuse these ingredients. You just need to really spend time and really put more intention in there. Um, you can reuse the ingredients because obviously you're not getting them out of the hole again, right? So look, that 
dried mushrooms just floating there. Blood oranges inside look gorgeous. Mandrake root all throughout the bottom. That little oyster shell chunk from my family gathering. Um, what's floating at the top here? Oh, that wax ball from the poppet. The sit white sage matchsticks are floating at the top. That feather's just in the middle. And then there's just dots of my DNA throughout. So this is a really fun one, you guys. I think it's cool. I think it turned out well. Now what I'll be doing is I will be burning two candles. Oh, also, it would be really cool while you're making this oil to burn some raw frankincense because when you burn raw frankincense, it just really gets you to that place uh, of like such highness in your head like you're just on such a natural meditation high I don't know what else to call it I don't know if high is a good word or not because it, it is what it is but so but uh, frankincense actually does have properties of getting you high um, addicts use it to do addiction recovery um, so I would put side note but I would put a, a charcoal disc in here and smoke up some frankincense while you're doing this. Or dragon's blood. Dragon's blood, though, I haven't read has those qualities. Frankincense does, however. Okay, so... The candles I'll be burning on top of this are red and blue. And let me tell you why. From my color series videos, my colors... I will be red for confidence and courage, and also protection from attackers. What do I mean by this? Well, spirits can get into the kind of like when you're messing around with flying and the astral plane and all that. I want to protect myself from any kind of spirits or evil energies that might try and attach to me during this time. Now the blue, I will be because blue increases psychic abilities and it just has to do with women in general that's me and a bunch of other stuff but not really that I that relate to me however blue is related to the throat chakra and that's a great one for communication so um, you know communicating with that other psychic side okay so let me get those started burning on top <clears throat> and then I will tell you goodbye, but show you a preview of what I am doing next in my magical death oil. This oil here that we're doing wasn't inspired by anyone. It was just inspired by myself. I didn't, I didn't look to any other YouTubers to, to think of this, but my next one I did. My next one's inspired by Lady Grave Dancer, which she inspires most of my things, doesn't she? Oh, on these candles, you should write on the outside some Law of Attraction. I'm sorry, I forgot to do that for you. I'll do it after I stop the video. So some Law of Attraction, like um, this oil has safely brought Jen, or safely made Jen magically fly, or something like that, right? So you could also do um, like a black and a white candle. You could do just a white candle. Um, but I like to kind of like pick the colors for reasons. Now this is going to be cool because it's going to drip down the side and do some beautiful stuff here. And um, that's not going to affect at all the way that it's capped up, which is really cool. So the wax won't break off then. So I'm going to get to, to um, scribbling some stuff on the side here. And I cannot wait to see you back for this beautiful, beautiful death oil that we're going to be making with this deer jaw. That's right. And I will have so much to share. Okay, guys, come back from my death oil and I'll see you back. Jen, the taxidermy witch.